Welcome. I hope you appreciated the creativity that we attempted in the lead into today's show. I want to talk to you today about the DJI wireless microphone. Now, DJI is a leader in the drone field as well as the action camera field. And let's face it, drones have no audio. Action cameras aren't known for the quality of their audio, so I was a little suspicious when DJI came out with the DJI wireless microphone. And I was wondering why they would go down that road. Well, I can tell you after using the DJI wireless microphone that right now I believe that is the number one wireless microphone out there in the field for the photographer and videographer. But we're going to explore the reason why in our show today. Now, let me stop by telling you, those of you who are looking forward to a detailed evaluation, the, the audio acoustics of this microphone, well, you're going to be disappointed. These ears have gotten to the point in life where no longer are they capable of evaluating fine audio quality and pitch. I will tell you that the DJI wireless microphone is as good as, if not better, than the Rode Wireless Go. But acoustics aside, the reasons why I decided that I wanted to add the DJI Wireless to my gear bag was because of three things, and I'd like to share those three things with you. The first thing is the case that they come in. Let me grab it here. The case that they come in. The DJI Wireless system comes in an all-inclusive case. Now, in this case, it comes with two transmitters, one receiver, it comes with a 3.5 millimeter uh, cord, it comes with an iOS uh, lightning port, it comes with a USB-C connection, all built in, as well as wind muffs uh, in, a, in a beautiful charging case. This cage, case, when you put them in there, they'll recharge. Now, the DJI Wireless is slightly more than the Rode Wireless Go, and there's a reason for that. The first reason is it comes with this case. The DJI product comes with the case, as well as a lot of the other add-ons that I found that I had to purchase separately at added to my Rode Wireless Go cost. So first thing is the all-encompassing case. It fits great. All of the items fit in here. It comes with everything you'll need, not only to connect your camera, but also your iOS device or your computer. So good job, DJI. The second thing that really impressed me is on the transmitters. And by the way, our program today is being recorded exclusively on the DJI wireless microphone. The transmitter that you see here on my shirt, the transmitter has a button on the side that allow you to start, stop, or pause an audio recording. And the actual transmitters have memory in it that allow you to have the recording go directly to it. Now, then you can take that, this transmitter, you can plug it into an iOS device or a USB-C uh, connection to your computer, and it will open the transmitter as if it was a USB device or it, an SSD. It'll open it immediately, and you'll see your WAV files listed right there. You'll be able to delete them individually. You'll be able to move them around. You'll have total functionality to use all the files as if it was a regular thumb drive USB. Now, that's a function that the Rode Wireless Go has, but on the Rode system, you need to go into the software and turn on the record capability. You don't have the option to select it from the actual transmitter. And then the handling and management is a little awkward because accessing the files is through the Rode software program. It just isn't quite as easy, let's put it that way. So again, I like the fact that if I choose to, without connecting this to a camera or anything, I can go out and just simply record something, get back, use a USB connection connected to my computer, and I'm able to pull down a WAV file that, that has the quality that I need. And the third thing that attracted me to that this is the receiver, which is on top of the camera, has a headphone jack to it. Now, if any of you out there are using a Canon G7X or a Sony RX100 or a GoPro or any type of camera that does have an audio jack to it, but it doesn't have a headphone jack, you're going to be glad to know that the DJS wireless receiver has a headphone jack option built right into it. So you're going to be able to monitor your, uh, monitor your audio. That's a function that doesn't currently exist on the Rode Wireless Go. So again, those are my three things. 
I have no doubt that Rode in the next iteration of the Go will adopt and further enhance some elements of uh, the wireless microphone systems that are often out there. But for the time being, keep an eye on Rode. And also, if you're thinking of doing the wireless microphone, DJI is the way to go at this point in time. If you enjoyed the video, what I'll ask you to do is give us a thumbs up. And if you would, subscribe because we'd like to uh, have more people participate in this channel so that going forward, I can have the encouragement I need to put out more quality information, not from a technical standpoint, but my job is to focus on the practical standpoint for you as the user of using the product. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching and have a great day.